Each time they venture into space, astronauts and space explorers run into a number of rather strange and enigmatic phenomena. Voyager 1 and 2 are two crucial pieces of equipment that have made and are still making major contributions to space exploration. Nevertheless, Voyager 2 has made contact with unidentified deep space entities, yet the outcome may not be good news for us. This spacecraft has been able to look into some really unsettling phenomena in the universe beyond our solar system. How horrifying are the revelations made by Voyager 2 and what happened to it? Join us as we explore how Voyager 2 made contact with unknown forces in deep space. In August 1977, progress in expanding space exploration was made. NASA spearheaded this initiative because they believed it needed to be prioritized more. Eight years after Neil Armstrong made that step on the moon, NASA realized they needed to build on this. NASA thought they were doing the proper thing when they placed the Voyagers in orbit and they were right. Voyagers I and II were sent into orbit to give us a taste of what is out there in space. Our neighboring planets were simply waiting to be identified and studied, and the Voyagers offered a great route in that direction. In many ways, the Voyager twins are artifacts from their time. They each have eight track tape recorders for recording data, three million times less memory than modern cell phones, and data transmission rates that are roughly 40,000 times slower than those of 5G internet connections. They each own the Golden Record, which features greetings in 55 different languages, pictures of people and places on Earth, and music ranging from Beethoven to Chuck Berry's Johnny B. Good. The twin Voyager spacecraft captured the public's interest in the 1970s and 1980s as Earth's first ambassadors to the outer planets by taking up close images of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Voyager 2 was the first spacecraft to enter orbit, and it did so on August 17, 1977. September 5th saw the launch of Voyager 1. Going on to the present, the Voyagers have accomplished so much thus far and they are still going strong 46 years later. Both spacecraft have the same architecture but have different estimated paths. Titan, Saturn's largest moon, and its rings were the main objectives of Voyager 1. Later, Voyager 2 was launched with an even more ambitious goal. It was put into orbit in order to monitor the Earth's surroundings as well as nearby planets. The irony of the Voyager mission is that it was put into orbit for a little over five years. It has lasted 46 years as of this year, and there are still no indications that it will end soon. The scientists that worked on the Voyager deserve praise for their accomplishments. It is difficult to create a machine that outlives its useful life. These are not your regular game gadgets, and you can clean their specks of dust and still work without a hitch. The technology on board Voyager Y may be the first to be able to distinguish between the sun's magnetic field and the area between the stars known as interstellar space. The Voyager's interstellar mission aims to expand NASA's exploration program into the vacuum of space, past the outer planets of the solar system. This is due to the fact that should attempts be taken to uncover it, its vast potential and significance cannot be adequately described. This mission will continue describing the outer solar system's environment and search for the heliopause boundary, the sun's magnetic field's furthest reaches and the solar wind's outward motion. The solar wind will penetrate the heliopause border between it and the interstellar medium, allowing precise studies. It is important to remember that this interstellar mission extends the Voyager mission, which was completed in 1989 when it traveled close to Neptune. Neptune was the final outer planet that the Voyager spacecraft visited. Voyager 2 flew near Neptune and Uranus, while Voyager 1 sailed close to Jupiter and Saturn. The Voyager I is leaving our solar system at a speed of 3.6 AU per year, moving 35 degrees north of the ecliptic plane and roughly in the direction of the solar apex. The Sun's peak is placed in the direction of the Sun's motion with respect to its neighborhood stars. But Voyager 2 is also departing the solar system and it is doing so at a rate of about 3.3 AU per year. In space, Voyager 2 is traversing unknown territory. Therefore, when something is so far away, anything can go wrong. NASA disclosed that Voyager 2 was having trouble. The first signs that something was wrong with the spacecraft came during a rotation maneuver that Voyager was scheduled to carry out to calibrate its magnetic field instrument. The calibration procedure called for the drone to roll a full 360 degrees. Due to the craft's inability to complete the move, two power-hungry systems turned on and activated for longer than necessary, using more power than they should have. 
power on Voyager 2 is extremely constrained. It generates heat that is then transformed into power using radioactive fuel. But with time, the fuel's ability to generate power decreases as it degrades. In order to protect key functions, the vessel turns off non-essential systems, including its scientific instruments, when power levels become too low. Voyager 2 disabled its scientific equipment after the rotation maneuver failed, making it unable to gather new data. As the craft is so far away from Earth that it takes 17 hours for commands to reach it, and another 17 hours for the ground team to see the ship's response, the engineers had to work to try and remedy the problem from the ground, which is very challenging. Yet despite the difficulties, the team was able to restart Voyager 2's instruments. Voyager 2 is now fully operational, its instruments are back online, and it can carry out its goal of gathering information about the vast interstellar space between stars. Voyager 2's relationship with extraterrestrials is another possibility. How much of it is true, and how much actually happened? In order to put this distance between Voyager 2 and the Earth into perspective, remember that it takes commands transmitted from the Earth 13 hours to reach this spacecraft. Yet communication isn't always as clear-cut as it may be. Not until the end of 2021 did it become apparent that the Explorer might have run across an odd problem. When this issue occurred, conspiracy theorists sprang into action and quickly turned it into a rife rumor. Aliens might have been able to find the Voyager 2 probe and reconfigure it to obstruct connection with Earth, according to certain theories. It could have simply been written off as garbage, but a German expert claims that this glitch can only be the product of alien activity. The UK's The Telegraph also stepped forward and elaborated on rumors accepting the word of a UFO expert without contrasting it with trustworthy data from an individual who is informed about space. This was done solely to increase views and copy sales. It is still far from clear whether a UFO or aliens were engaged in this operation, and the most likely explanation is that something went wrong with Voyager's programming. Nonetheless, there is no doubt that the alien theory will continue to be discussed for a very long time. What is the reason for that? Well, it goes beyond mere speculation since it incorporates curiosity and something that people have been looking for a very long time. If there are aliens, they wouldn't merely tamper with a machine that's cruising above their home planet, would they? Or is it a warning to stay away from them? Whatever it is, it significantly contradicts reason and we'd rather not knock on a door that leads to a brick wall. This is a great subject for speculation, but it needs to be approached with extreme caution. We should give the Voyager expedition everything we have since that is what will help us advance in this profession, and that should be our main objective. Since they could be too terrified to confront us later, the aliens could be sending signals to keep us at a distance. That makes for some interesting speculation. The two spacecraft are nearly 46 years old, which is significantly older than what the mission planners had planned. Also, we are in interstellar space, a highly radioactive area that has never been visited. The Voyagers are propelled by plutonium-238, which has an 88-year half-life. That seemed to last forever when they originally launched, but now that it has been halfway, there isn't much base power left to power the spaceship. The current Voyager mission is particularly astounding because it dares to travel where no spacecraft has gone before, 